just as I'm going live, okay, Cupid hopped up. Shouts out to my boy, Ambitious. Brought to you by Neptune Sticks. Hey, these motherfuckers are strong. I'm telling you, like, I'm a heavy weed blower. I've been blowing weed um, for many, many decades, probably about four decades, 40 years. And these motherfuckers are strong. If you don't want to smoke a big ass blunt and all that shit, um, check out these Neptune Sticks. And shouts out to my boy, Ambitious. Like I said, we got to start helping each other businesses out. You know what I'm saying? I've been down here eight months, eight months, right? And I told all my friends, you know what I'm saying? Come down here and drop your brands off. You know what I mean? These are other foundational black, straight um, um, friends that are mine. You know, and I'm glad Ambitious finally came out here and brought his product. He's going to be the new sponsor of the Beatology 101 show. And um, we're going to start the um, beats, the open mic up again. Um, we're going through some um, big announcements. Like I said, it's 50% off. So if you guys are in the downtown area, come through um, with 50% off until our next big announcement. Um, we got a lot of hot stuff in stock right now. So we got stuff from $5 and we got stuff um, like $20,000 and up. You know what I mean? So. It is what it is. Who, depending on, um, what's up, Omar? If you guys got any questions about business, about anything, you know what I'm saying? Uh, music, um, whatever. Dating. I like talking about dating because I'm single again. So dating is very fun. Shouts out to my boy Ambitious again, Neptune Sticks. And he hit me to OK Cupid. OK Cupid is pretty cool. Like, um, I'm a fan of Bumble, you know what I mean? I meet a lot of, you know, like-minded people like myself, you know what I mean? A lot of professionals, like, if you want to fuck with hood rats and, like, dirty, low-class shit, then fuck with Tinder and fuck with um, BLK and fuck with Plenty of Fish, but I meet, like, a lot of um, other professionals on black. Like I say, I date mainly doctors and lawyers and people that have their own businesses and um, people of equal minds, so... I love Bumble. <laughs> if y'all hear chewing in the back, that's uh, my Belgian Malinois papa. Give me that. That's trying to run around with my fucking screwdriver right now. Like, if you guys get one of these dogs, you guys better be ready to babysit 24 hours. Thank you, papa. This, this is what he's running around with. You're going to get hurt. You're going to come say hi? Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, papusas. Papusas, um, Papa is about nine months years old. He's a good boy. Real lovable. Real lovable. But I'm telling you guys, like, you got to um, do a lot of training if you want one of these dogs. But for protection dogs, shouts out to my boy Reggie Moore. Um, this is a good protection dog. But he likes to bite. You know what I mean? That's just in their nature. You know, you got to get used to this type of play. <laughs> but he means no harm. Right now, he could take my finger off if he wants. <laughs> if he wants, he could bite me in my face. And when you first get him, they are wild. He tried to bite me in my face. Like, as soon as I got him, you really got to be patient with these dogs. Like, they're really um, protectors, but they're also, like, wild animals. And this breed, look, like I say, if you're not willing to play with him like this, ow, papa. then be careful, you know what I'm saying? But it's what the best decision I made all year, getting him, like, better than all of my guns. Like, he's checking around all in the store when he gets here. When I'm walking back and forth to my house, he's checking all, every door, every angle, everything. So, ow! He's a little irritated right now. I'm going to go feed you right after the video. He's like, man, if you don't get your ass up, ow! But, yeah, we're 50% off, you guys. So if you guys in the area, come through. What's up, Trojan Skin Chris? Like I said, we got all kind of vintage stuff. We got new stuff. We got a lot of um, independent brands in here. I see some Chrome Hearts, some Anita Mine, some Dior, some Hermes Birkin bags, everything. What's up, IC? Arca, what is it, Ica Dis Styles? What's up, what's up? 
like I said, you guys got any questions, let me know. We, fuck it, we could talk about dating, like, oh, uh, man, you guys got to get in shape. Like, that's one thing that I slipped up on, is you guys got to be in shape, fitness. Like, we're going to go over some of the top Fs when you're dating or even in life. Like, number one, I would say fitness, you guys. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? My doctor told me to chill out because when I found out about my heart problem, I have hypertrophic congestive cardiomyopathy. Basically, I was born with a large heart. I used to work out heavy every day, and I used to Muay Thai every other day. So my whole life consisted in working out at one time. And then I always wondered, even when I went to basic training, this is something that the military doctor should have picked up, that I had heart problems. I shouldn't even have been admitted in the Army. Like going through boot camp could have killed me. So shouts out to the weed doctor that took all these weird ass um, placements with his stethoscope. And he's like, hey, you need to go see a heart specialist. And I thought he was crazy because he was fucking, he did the stethoscope here, here, like on my head, on my neck, all kind of weird ass spots. But he knew what he was talking about. And he saved my life. I don't remember the doctor's name, but he was a doctor. He passed away. They used to have the um, marijuana clinic right there on the Venice Boardwalk. So shouts out to good doctors out there. Like I said, education is important, you guys. Like shouts out to the good doctors out there. Saved my life. And shouts out to Disney and Dr. Um, Mazar. That's my doctor over at Santa Monica um, Hospital. You know what I'm saying? So they keep me alive. So you guys go get a get Medi-Cal, get what you got to do. Disney, I had good insurance. You know what I mean? And just get your body checked out because it's better to know about these things early than late. And not just physical things, guys. If you guys are going through some depression issues or any weird thoughts or some trauma that you need to deal with, use those mental services. Seriously, mental illness will lead to physical ailments. You know, and if, guys, you need, like, some some help with some things that you can't handle, like alcohol. A lot of my friends, alcohol is the death of them. So, like, it's a program up in Pasadena that saved a lot of my friends' life called Impact. You know, I'll take you up there. I'll, I'll make sure you get up there and get help. Or if you have problems with drugs, you know what I mean? Impact is one of the best spots. There's nothing wrong with getting your life together. Before you try to go out and start bringing other people into your life, get your life together. Like I said, so back in the fitness, fitness isn't just um, your physical health, but it's your mental health too. So I would say that's my one of my favorite ones. And my second favorite one is finance. Okay, I'm not saying be a trick. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying get your life in order. You know what I mean? If you don't have a place to live or you don't have transportation, maybe you should get that together before you start trying to date. Or maybe you live in downtown and you don't give a fuck about having a car. Because I get it. If it's good transportation, fuck a car. But number one, I would say fitness. Number two, I would say finance. You know, it's it's too much opportunity out there for, for to make decent money in LA. All that, oh, it ain't no jobs. No, you a lazy motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I work with everybody in the music industry, but I was out here Ubering, so was my boss. My other boss, um, the one hit me to um, a security company, and I don't know if they want to go on air and talk about this shit. That's why I'm not saying their names. But if you're not willing to shovel shit for yourself or your kids or your family, then you ain't shit, and you don't need to be bringing anybody into your shithole. Seriously. Get your shit together. A year ago, I was doing fucking Uber. I might do Uber again. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? You do what you got to do. I still got my guard card. <laughs> you, everybody should get a guard card. I was making 35 an hour and shit to, just to stand up and not do shit. It's no danger. And get a gun permit. Tell you, you always have a job in security because especially in L.A., L.A. is going to shit. So everybody's going to need security. Until we get a, a new mayor and, 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 and a new um, DA and have a new police chief, L.A. just going to keep getting fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You get to <coughs> shave off five motherfuckers a day. You know what I mean? <coughs> That's how they get rid of motherfuckers out here. They let your ass get on that fentanyl. <laughs> 
And then you overdose. That's the easy way to kill a motherfucker. Shit. The easiest thing to get away with. Because you be you can put that shit in your drink. Sprinkle that shit in somebody's drink. Oh, OD. No murder investigation. You know, so... As long as it's open drug use and open drug sales and no consequence, niggas going to be doing dumb shit. <clears throat> and this is going to lead to foolishness. It's going to be a lot of people die and it's going to be a lot of people get hurt. And a lot of people go to jail necessarily. And a lot of lives going to get changed through this fucking drug shit. It fucks with your mental. A lot of people get caught up in that shit and can't get out. One people hit the wrong shit. That's why you should only do medicine. Weed is medicine. You know, and make sure you know where that comes from. That's, like I said, this is all lab. I know after I hit this Neptunes and shit, all it's going to do is help me deal with the public, help my back pain, you know what I mean, and help, help this old man aches. So get your fucking fitness together. Seriously, it's free help out there. I would say, <coughs> now, the other one is be funny if you can. Take some improv classes. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to <coughs> be around anybody boring. You know, and I try to speak not to just the men. I try to speak to the women, too. You know, and if you guys really know me, go on my Facebook. You know what I mean? Like, all these guys be talking all that shit, but I really doubt that any of these dating coaches had more professional women than me. I've had professional women downtown to, to, to everything. You know what I'm saying? So I'm quite experienced in online dating. I've been online dating since America Online since, what, 30 years ago? And I met some great women online. Two of my exes I met online. You know, so you can meet great women and you can meet crazy uh, women. Or you can you just be picky. Cast a big net. I'm picky. Ooh, so I cast a big ass net. It's very difficult for me to find somebody I'm attracted to when I get along with. And I mean attracted to mentally and physically. I meet beautiful women every fucking day. That's why I tell you guys, get your own fucking business and come out to L.A. Stop bullshitting. We the fifth largest economy in the world and only the alphas survive. Come to L.A. If you don't come to L.A., you're not really seeing good looking people and you're not really doing big business. This is the fifth largest economy in the world. This is the most money I've ever made in my life. All right? But it ain't for everybody. Everybody can't be an alpha male. Some people need to be led by sports, by religion, by their mate. Like some people grab the world by the ball. Skip! Without not to suck no balls or get on no fucking knee pads. It's the niggas yelling outside right now. There's some niggas need some mental help. But be funny, you guys. You know what I'm saying? If you can, take some improv class. You know, be entertaining. And um, try to be a fun person to be around. You know, sometimes my ego and, and my the shop, it fucking takes up all my mental space. So it's hard to fucking not unpack with people. You know what I mean? So... Try to be fun. Try not to bring up dumb shit. Like, I try not to bring up no fucking religion. Because <laughs> as soon as I ask and prove Jesus exists, I, you know, they usually ghost me after that one. So I don't bring up um, no fucking religion shit. And um, politics is a tough one. You know what I mean? As soon as I start talking about foundational black Americans and reparations and shit and real topics... You know what I'm saying? And if you're going to be with somebody long term, that's different. But what I'm learning at 51 is that if you don't have a lot in common with people when you get with them, then what are you guys going to do for fun other than the, the sex? Like, I'm in that quantum right now. Like, I, I, I wish I could date other music people and shit, but that's tough. Because as soon as I see the groupie in you, like, that's what turned me off. I don't give a fuck if, if, if white Jesus and black Jesus walked in this room. If you turn into a groupie and shit, I'm done with you. I like being around women that don't turn into groupies around anybody. And men, too. 
Some of you men are bigger groupies than these fucking women. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to hate having to take pictures with motherfuckers. I almost got into fights with people about taking pictures, but that was my job at Interscope. We used to have to turn in 25, like, really good pictures that Jimmy Ivan and the artists and, 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 and everybody would want to look at to evaluate um, how everything was handled. You know, and that's a lot of pressure. Like, not only was I responsible for that, I was also responsible for the red carpet. I was also responsible for the sound, the lighting, the back line, front of house engineer, monitor engineer, make sure all the DJs was at the party, all the radio stations at the party, all the tastemakers at the party, make sure niggas ain't fighting at the party. The venue only holds 200 niggas, but we didn't invite it 500 niggas. So you're going to have 300 niggas that's talking about not playing your fucking record because they couldn't get in, in, the, in the party. But hey, par for the course, baby. This is alpha male shit, not beta bitch male shit. But be funny. So what we got so far, and I'm just going off the top of my fucking head. I don't have shit written down. I don't have no talking points. I don't have no notes. So be funny. Get your finances together. And what was the first in fitness? Ew. Wasn't good shots out the Neptune sticks. And don't forget we open 10 o'clock. I ain't running from nobody. I'm outside and inside. Bitch. Um, 737 South Broadway. 50% off when you mention this shit. If you don't mention shit, well, you take it. Uh, blocked. Um, 50% off this damn Belgian Malawi if he keeps fucking with me. Papa, your sister just got sold for $10,000. Hmm? Your sister just got sold. So we might have to have a sale on your ass. <laughs> <clears throat> but come say hi to Papa. I'm not responsible if he nibbles your ass, cause he loves nibbling. It was a, it was a, it was some other f's I thought about. You know what I mean? But bonus, get a pet. I'm telling you, get you a cute ass dog and head up to the fucking um, these dog parks in these good neighborhoods and shit and. Everybody, it's good networking. You know what I mean? Have business cards. You know what I mean? And um, look good. You know, I be slipping. Like, I should have a cleaner head. My beard should be more clean. This crackhead gonna tell me I should color my beard. Bitch, color that um, goatee. But that's what I'm saying. What's up, Adrian? 50% off, man. So, you know, shouts out to Adrian, man. I wish um, I could, Adrian could come on and give me an interview right now. But, uh, yeah, you know, I have this big vintage shop in downtown L.A. So we got a lot of vintage clothes. We got designer. We got purses. We got vinyl records. We got furniture. You know, check out the Instagram. You know, so 50% off um, anything you see in here. You know what I mean? So um, pull up. Shouts out to Adrian Miller. Man, that's a good dude right there, man. I remember um, he was the first one to let me hear Anderson Pack shit. So shouts out to Adrian, man. Like, that's life-changing fucking opportunities and shit, man. Like, one thing I got to say, I got, like, got to meet a lot of good people doing music. Pick up Mr. Swift. I, I wish Mr. Swift would fucking come on here and, and let me get an interview and shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got some ballers on here. Oh, shit. My man. Yes. Please come. Go. Mr. Miller. How do I do that? Accept. Ma'am, that will be a blessing if I get this shit to work. Accept. What's up, man? Hey, what up, buddy? What's up? How you doing, man? Oh, hey, man. We, we jamming that shit. Hello. <laughs> oh man good i was like you, what man. is he selling now you're the consummate hustler like if anybody gets props for being the consummate hustler 
that means it's a lot, man, for real, man. You go. No, no, no. You just giving so much game. I don't think people were really understanding the GA that you was putting down just now, P.I., because telling people to go to the dog park to network, oh, my God, you killed them. I just don't want it to get too blown up like Runyon Canyon is now. <laughs> Listen, Runyon Canyon sucks. See? It just smells like ass and piss. Oh, uh, man. man. So it ain't like it used to be. No, no, no. And so I got to I gotta check out your spot. I might even come down there now. I ain't no, no shit. No, come down, man. We right by the Apple store right here on 9th Street between 7th and 8th. We have ample parking, and um, dude, it's gonna be something in here you like, man. I'm telling you, we got everything from vinyl records to some books. Like, I want to make it like a place for inspiration. You know what I mean? Cause I be having writer's block, and I'm not trying to do anything unless it's better than what I've done before. You know what I'm saying? So, you would love it, man. <laughs> you would love it. Hold on, let me give you a tour real fast, cause you ain't even been down here. That, that would make you um. Uh, Come, come through and say what's up. So how do I flip it around? Flip around. All right, cool. So we just got these. I don't know what type of shit you into now, man, but we got these chrome hearts we just got in. We got this I Need All Mine. This is another black brand. They're right up the street. They're friends of Nipsey House. So we got a lot of black businesses. We've got a black barber shop. We got I Need All Mine up the street. We got the cough syrup brand. And it's like a mecca down here. And I'm trying to get people to come down here and buy property and or at least lease property because it's supposed to be $5 a square foot, but you get it for a lot cheap because um, the, the Olympics are coming and the FIFA is coming. So if I don't know if I'm telling too much, but y'all come get y'all money. <laughs> so we got a Balmain, Balmain jacket, however the fuck you said, a Mary. Uh, we got some duck camo over here. Here's another independent brand. We like to support independent brands. Um, this is another brand that we met right up the street. And all this custom knit stuff, we do custom clothes too. So if you know anybody, we, take, we, we source all these pieces and we can make you guys anything you want. You know what I mean? So we do custom clothes too. Shouts out to Jared. This is his clothing line right here. And we even got some stuff. This is Morpheum. She worked with Gaga and Beyonce and um, a lot of big people. And she was the star of LA Fashion Week. So we got her stuff in the very front window. We even got stuff for kids right here. Let me take you over to the vinyl section. And look at this dress. So when you go down, just look for the Beatology van. I ain't running from nobody. That's the van. It's parking right in back of me. I'm right on um, Broadway between 7th and 8th. We got all the records. So all you producers and artists, when you get writer's block, look at all these records. And these are my records. Like a lot of this stuff is my personal stuff. And then, of course, we got some drywall stuff, human-made, more, you know, black brands. And Boston, I mean, we even got, like, this is from the, to fucking road crew 2014 so we got like all kind of it's like a like, let me take you to the back <laughs> well a lot of people say it's like a museum because we got tapes we even got some cds eight tracks and, and we, if you see the title of some of this shit like check this out black panthers you know what i mean we got some crazy, crazy faces of death. How many of y'all used to watch Faces of Death? I'm still scared to watch this shit. So we got crazy shit because we just want to inspire, man. Like, we want this lifestyle brand to inspire people to write better music and to produce better music and be become, become better executives and empower other people to become executives because your ass inspires me. Like, I'm so glad you still do music and a lot of my friends really have time to do music. Like this, I want to have, have franchises and, and have you guys have franchises of this because my competition, um, Buffalo Exchange, makes a million dollars a week. So I don't know anybody in music that I know makes that kind of money. And as easy as this is, so I'm telling you guys, this vintage stuff, this buy low, sell high. We even got furniture, you know, some hooded chairs. This is all the material that we make 
um, all, all the stuff out front with. You know, so we, we can make you guys anything, hoodies, um, whatever you can think of, pants, or anything out of this custom material that we source. And we got couches and everything is 50% off. You know what I mean? 50%. And we even got $5 stuff. You guys could come down here and search through these bins. A lot of this stuff in these bins is $5. But let me go to my favorite section that we all need to do is books. Like you guys talk about, we rap about the same shit. All your beats sound the same. Then come open up some of these books. This will open up your mind to writing about more shit than the normal. I mean, we got books on everything. So, so. And if you guys need any prices or anything, let me know. But open to the public 10 to 7 every day, um, 737 South Broadway. And let me show you the women's section. And this is all our pants right here. We got a whole section of just pants and shorts. We got a, a, like eclectic stuff. Like if you guys want to look, this is the place to go. But we also got regular stuff too if you guys need some work, work clothes. So this is just all uh, shirts, more shirts, some, some more dress up stuff. We got some, some winter. We got the dress. This is the old Gap building. So we're in 8,000 square feet. So the Gap pulled out of here. So this is what we're working with. And this is our women's section. We got lots of tops and blouses. We got some good dresses too, like some really, really good dresses. But yeah, this is just an end to the moon, but I've always loved fashion, so it just goes right. And what I love doing anyway. And we still got the music and we do the open mic. We're going to start the open mic back up next Friday. Shouts out to AC, the PD. He's out of town. So you guys want to come down and get some free game because people like me and Adrian charge a lot of money. But it's, I appreciate you, Adrian, coming on because it means a lot. Because I look up, you like my mentor and shit. Like I always love, like you always been seen and never in no Hollywood. off salute to you guys dj stealth love you guys 737 south broadway 10 to 7 and um appreciate you guys any questions about any of this stuff let me know 50 percent off love you